Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of stories with respect to inspiration, education, advice, and um, I'm going to tell you a couple of stories with respect to uh, Rabbi Shmelka of Nicholsburg. One of the gifts of Rabbi Shmelka was not only his voice, but his, uh, the melodies that he sang. Um, a Rabbi Moshe Teitelbaum, a disciple of the uh, seer of Lublin, would say that when Rabbi Shmelka prayed on Shabbos, on Sabbath, or a holy day, a Yontif, and especially on Yom Kippur and Yom Kippur, he would start singing melodies, new melodies that no one had ever heard of. The most beautiful, most angelic melodies that were completely unheard by human ears before. And um, people were amazed. These, uh, these songs, these melodies, these notes uh, appeared to come from heaven. When a very old man <clears throat> who had sung in Rabbi Shmelka's uh, choir when he was a boy he used to say, it was the custom for us boys to set out the notes of the uh, <clears throat> of the melodies, the notes of the songs, so that you know we wouldn't have to, you know, go running back with pieces of paper while people were davening. And uh, what happened was uh, Rabbi Shmelka of Nicholsburg paid. Uh, Virtually no attention to any of the notes put in front of him. He would, uh, his notes came from his soul. It came from above. So that uh, the people who were supposed to be singing, the people in the, in the choir, they sat silent. Their mouths open, not believing the beautiful music that came. Not, and they didn't understand where these melodies came from because each time... These were new melodies that no one heard before or since. And this was the gift, one of the gifts, that Rabbi Shmelka of uh, Nicholsburg had. Uh, there was a connection between him and heaven. And he was able to, to sing these melodies that uh, basically came seemingly from nowhere. Um, but those who were heard had... Uh, a pretty good idea of where they came from. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Muno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.